Fight through dungeons full of monsters in Dungeon Lot 2. Chop some enemies in Max Axe and score that perfect slam dunk. All this and more on this episode of App Spotlight. The first game that we have is Dungeonlot 2. The exciting sequel to the original Dungeonlot game, Dungeonlot 2 adds new monsters, cool power-ups, and a free price tag. Dungeonlot 2 takes you into the deepest, darkest dungeons, where you must fight evil monsters, collect spells and power-ups, and defeat hard bosses. The game overall has a fun RPG crawler feel to it, while at the same time implementing a luck element that causes you to never know what monster might pop up next. The developer also did what is a rarity in the App Store these days. They implemented both timers and a freemium model, along with a way to make a one-time $3.99 payment to get rid of the timers and play the game as much as you want. This model is the best of both worlds, keeping the game free for some pay players, but at the same time offering paying customers the full experience. Overall, I really love Dungeon Lot 2. My only downside is the fact that the game seems a little grindy at some times, in the way that it makes you repeat the same sets of dungeons over and over before progressing to the next set. However, the fact that the monsters and power-ups randomly spawn adds to the replay factor and makes grinding for master keys a little bit more tolerable. Overall, an excellent game that is available for the awesome price of free. The next game that we have is Max Axe. Max Axe is a fun game where you have to run through a forest, picking up gems and coins, and also killing monsters and other enemies with your trusty axe. This game has a lot of cool power-ups and combos that appear throughout the game. Along with lighthearted graphics and fun mechanics, the game is definitely a fun, endless runner-style game. Throughout the gameplay, you collect coins, which you can use to unlock helmets, coin magnets, better axes, and more. You can choose to purchase coins to power up your character even faster, but I found that Max Axe does give out a fair number of coins, such that you don't need to purchase any additional coins unless you really want to. Overall, the game is a really fun, addictive runner you'll definitely enjoy. Now let's take a look at our flashback game. Our flashback game this week is Mikey Shorts. Mikey Shorts is a fun and exciting platform game that has you jumping over obstacles, sliding through narrow passageways, and collecting coins. All whilst trying to set your friends free who are turned into statues. Whenever I see someone looking for a quality platformer on the App Store, I always redirect them to Mikey Shorts, and they're never disappointed. Overall, if you love platformers and want to see one on your iPhone, Mikey Shorts is the app for you. We'll be right back after, with two more cool apps right after the break. I wanted to take this advertising break to talk to you all briefly about an exciting new program for sponsors we're implementing into this advertising block in App Spotlight. As you know, each App Spotlight episode, we have a one minute advertising block between the third and fourth app, and this block helps us ensure the quality of App Spotlight episodes and cover our costs. Up until this point, we were mainly talking about App Nana and similar programs. However, now we're gonna start showcasing sponsored apps from the developers and indie developers who didn't make it onto the show, but still wanna get the word out there about those apps. These applications will only be present in the advertising section of the video because they are in fact advertisements and not reviews, since the developers are helping to defer the costs of the App Spotlight episode. This way, we can show you advertisements about apps you may want to purchase, we help indie developers get affordable advertising, and it helps to support the App, Sp App Spotlight show we all know and love. I just wanted to let you know about this new program so you're not confused in the future. And also, we're still going to continue to offer apps, App Nana and similar ads, but only as a filler when we don't have sponsors for that episode. If you're interested in sponsoring an App Spotlight episode, you can go to sponsor.appfind.tv or look at the link in the description. This way, we can keep the high quality you all know and love on App Spotlight episodes. All right, back to the reviews. Alright, we're back. 
This episode's hidden gem app is Slam Dunk 2. This game is a really fun basketball shooting simulator that pits you head to head with opponents from around the globe. The more baskets you make in a row, the higher your multiplier becomes. Overall, the graphics look amazing and the physics work really well. I found myself playing multiple tournaments and completely demolishing my opponents. At the end of the each game, you have the final chance to sink a really cool full court shot, and I actually managed to pull one off once. Overall, the game is structured similar to the layout of 8 Ball Pool by Miniclip, but instead of pool, you are shooting baskets and looking to get the highest combos and multipliers that you can get. Overall, I recommend this app for anybody looking for a to find a cool basketball shooting simulator with angles involved. All right, on to our mystery app. With the departure of our beloved Flappy Birds, a question I've been getting frequently is what's a good alternative to Flappy Bird? Well, I tried a bunch of apps out, but none were as polished as Splashy Fish. Offering a skin look on the Flappy Bird game, but the app did function pretty much the same and still induce that addictive nature, at the same time making me hate how hard the game is. All right, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode of App Spotlight. Be sure to share this video with your friends. If you want to sponsor an episode, take a look at the link down in the description. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.